so let me write the css or uh, we let me write the jquery to remove the button so what we will do is we will copy this thing we will paste it here and we will say none and this is going to be display okay so yes now everything is working now what we will do is let me just check and this is not really looking good document actually it is a registration page so let me change its title to register page sorry page and i will reload the page and you can see it is looking good now what i will do is i can uh, enter an email address then i will click on send otp and you can see this is a working okay and you cannot change actually this thing so now okay Spinner is going okay, but there is some problem. Button is really not uh, going anywhere. So <clears throat> let me okay. So this is the problem actually. I want to write CSS, not the attribute. Okay, so let me go. Let me check if everything is working or not. You can see that it is gone, and I can write here something like email validated successfully or something like that. Okay. So I will select the gap small or let me check gap small. I will select this div and I will append element to it. Okay. So these are display flex. Let me select it. Please enter a valid email address. This is the email. Okay. So let me reload it. You can see everything is working very well. So I will append to actually this thing because uh, I want to show it after it. Okay. So I will select this div. I will name it as a email div. You can name it whatever you want. So I will target this and uh, add it. Okay. Add elements. You can say append or something like that. Okay. So let me append. Hmm. So now what we are going to append is let me just append an element. So append some append text. P dot append some append. Okay. Insert a content at the end of the selected element. Prepend after before. So I want to actually set append text. You can see. At how we are appending the text to so create element an inner element and then we are actually appending it okay so i'm going to copy this thing i will also uh, paste it here actually we are not going to use var so we are going to use const we are going to say email verified text email verified element not text actually sorry and copy and paste it and let me say that email verified successfully okay and we also need an emoji so let me go it's not working actually because it's ubuntu i don't know why it's not working email verified element okay so let me reload the page I will say Dharmic JT6 and send OTP and you can see it is loading. Email verified successfully. Wow, great. One more thing that I want to tell you is that I want to append it, but uh, not the whole email HTML. So let me just copy this control F and let me remove this. Okay, so we are appending it. I know. But where we are appending it, it is a big challenge where we are appending it. We should append it, it, it here. Okay. There is a display flex and there is a gap, gap small. So I will change the class from here to here. Let me reload the page. Okay. And I will also uh, add a class. So you can also add the class if you want to add email verified element okay to the email verified element dot css or you can say class class name equals to you can add 
so we can add let's say uh email verified text okay so we are going to use this class to declare something let me go up let me just paste it here text going to be oh color is going to be green because it's actually working that's why we are showing green then one more thing that we really want is uh text or font size okay so font size is too big so i will make it 12 pixel or something like that let me reload it and let me check it again okay i will press on send otb and you can see this is running okay and it's working very well okay no it's really not uh big okay it's really not big let me make it 14 pixel you can see email verified successfully okay i also need a icon that i can use here so let me find some svg for uh tick svg tick okay or something like that so i want something like this mm. svg tick mark this is a tick mark i can use this uh let me go and check copy svg just i copied the svg and i can insert it inside the p element that i am creating where is the p dot in html i can use it okay so i think there is an error okay it's actually breaking no problem at all we just have to create a div element or uh, something like that and let me also create an svg element i think we can create a svg element let me see svg element append okay so you can see that this is working okay right now what we can do is we can also export it or we can download it and you can see this is going to work okay so what i will do is i will just go to downloads this is a whole downloads and i will copy this thing and i will paste it to the uh what i can say vs code okay let me go let me create an images or svgs but i'm going to call it images and i will paste it it's not actually being pasted because i don't know why it's not actually being pasted but let me go to opt or something like that so we can post it okay so we can paste it i think where will be the opt folder where is the opt folder i don't know okay so let me go to this td slash opt ls okay let me go to cd downloads cd okay pwd it's actually root ls i will say cd var cd slash opt ls okay so where is the opt folder actually i don't know i will go to cd home cd dot dot cd home ls cd dharmic ls and cd downloads ls and what we are going to do is copy this uh, where is the svg so there is a check mark svg to cp cp means copy and then this is a svg whatever svg you want to copy and there is a path where we want to copy it i will say slash opt slash uh lamp slash auth okay i think it will work 
स्लैश ओके तो परमिशन डी नाइड ओके नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल जस्ट से सूडो एंड इट्स गोइंग टू वर्क लेट मी गो टू ओ पी टी स्लैश लैम्प एल एस सी डी स्लैश एटी डॉक्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट एल एस सी डी ऑथ एल एस ओके तो वेर इज द इमेज सो लेट मी गो टू इमेज इज एल एस ओके इट्स नॉट वर्किंग आई थिंक देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली सी डी स्लैश होम एल एस सी डी धार्मिक एल एस एंड सी डी डाउनलोड्स आई विल ऑल्सो मेक अ वीडियो ऑन लिनक्स समवेयर और एफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस कोर्स और ओके सो आई विल से चेक मार्क टू स्लैश ओ पी टी स्लैश आ लैम्प स्लैश एट टी डॉक स्लैश ऑथ स्लैश इमेज एल एस ओके आई गो टू ओ टी पी ओ पी टी स्लैश लैम स्लैश एट टी डॉक्स इट इज रियली फॉन टू यूज द कॉमन लाइन ओके ऑफ लिनक्स आई रियली लाइक इट एंड यू कैन सी दर इज आर अवर इमेज ओके वी कैन चेंज इट्स नेम टू लेट मी चेंज इट्स नेम एम वी चेक And we are going to say check mark, okay. And if we say this, you can see the check mark is working. Now I really don't want this because check mark dot svg will be the right extension to use. Check mark dot svg. So let me ls it. And you can see check mark dot svg is working. Now what I want is I want to create an element that is a div. So let me create an element. const parent div equals to actually we can append it whole parent div but i don't want it okay i will append this text first or what i can do is i can append first the svg element so I, what i will do is let me create an image or svg element equals to document dot create element element and then we will use something like image okay oh actually it's going to be p sorry for that it's not image it's img svg element dot src is going to be it's going to be dot slash images dot slash images images slash check mark dot svg check mark dot svg and let me append it okay so how to append i will copy this i will paste it i will say dot append and i will say svg element so let me reload it let me reload my whole page it's a lot of work so it should work otherwise my work is just wasted right oh my god it's okay so it's coming in very big direction okay so what i will do is i will change its width and height as we element dot width is going to be 10 pixel height is also going to be 10 pixel let me reload the page i will send otp okay so i don't know why it's not working without removing this or with removing this let me see yeah it is working very well okay so let me select this thing and i will change the style okay width let me change the style width to 10 pixel you can see it's working actually 
so i will say 16 pixel just let me make this thing okay and i will remove this thing i will re i will remove the height i will say send otp okay i don't know why it's not coming but uh, when changing width i can really not coming let me add the css how can we add the css dot a uh, class name we can add some class name or we can also add the width if we want to add a width we add css to a uh, document dot create element okay style okay so the name is style actually it's not css i just forget that style we will say width we will say 16 pixel and let me reload the page okay so i will say dynamic g86 will say send otp okay now it's working but the color is not really good so i can change it color to green not working but it's okay yes it's actually okay right we can also add another svg but no problem at all okay so okay now everything is working now what we want to do is whenever someone press on this thing send otp but actually uh, oh sorry that was a problem right i don't want to display the email verified successfully whenever uh, the otp is sent no i want to send that email otp sent successfully and then i will display another thing okay so that is a mistake actually not a big mistake i will just change the text otp sent success fully okay i will load this let me see otp sent successfully now i want to open some text box here uh, below the email input box where i will create a new div and that will be a uh, checking for otp okay that will be checking for otp so let me see email where is the email i want to check the email due i will just uh, copy something let me copy it okay don't save cancel okay so i want to remove the spinner first i will also remove this thing i will not remove it right now no problem i will just make its id to uh, check otp button okay first we created send otp button now we are creating check otp button please enter a valid email address okay so this is not what we are going to do there is going to be input but its id is going to be a uh, user otp okay type is going to be number and there is no going to be there is no placeholder okay actually and there is also no auto complete for this i don't want it let me reload the page how it's working okay it's working okay -ish. but okay i will change the label to uh otp okay or we can say enter otp let me reload the page 
will say enter OTP. Actually, I just changed the wrong div. I don't want to change that thing. We'll change this thing, okay? Enter OTP. Okay. And send OTP is not going to be that, but it's going to be check OTP, okay? So, what we can do is we can remove this button and we can uh, make it so dynamic that someone enters in the enter OTP text box, it's going to show error or success. Okay, it's going to show the error or success. So, let me see. I'll, I will remove the send OTP button. I don't need it. What I will do is I will reload the button a page and whenever someone just let's say okay whenever someone just do this it's going to show here okay it's going to show here that otp is valid or not and if it is valid then we are going to just uh, remove this whole thing this email this enter otp or we are going to just remove the enter otp and we are going to say that the email validation is successful okay so let me see how it's going to work so okay uh i also need a spinner actually for this okay so no problem let me see how we can work let me just write the logic for the enter otp so right now what we are going to do is we are going to track on this enter otps okay so we are going to say user OTP and whenever someone presses on that. So input event in jQuery. So it's kind of input event on input or something like that. Key up. Yes. Key up is going to be the true event, not an input event actually. <coughs> key down actually we really need the key down event in jquery okay so that we can track the dynamically key down event function input okay let me just copy it and paste it somewhere so what i will do is i will create a key down event for this and i need user otp and this is going to be hash key down function same thing is going to be this. Let me just say alert. Hello there. Okay. And let me reload the page. So whenever someone presses something on this, you can see there is a hello there. Okay. So this is good. I will also remove this because I don't need the style something like this. It's really rubbish. Okay. That's why I don't need it. I will reload the page. Then I will say OTP. So it's going to be. Okay. So I have to remove this thing too. Okay. Now what we will do is we will dynamically send the data or the OTP to another file that will be check OTP mail that will fetch from database and that will check. But one more thing I want to do is right now, if the echo is one, then what I will do is I will add the email and otp both to my database okay so let me create a table first localhost slash php my admin actually it's not working why i don't know http colon slash slash localhost okay i don't know why it's not working Okay, now it's working. Now what I will do is I will create a table that will be user users. Okay, I will create uh, this is a database actually. Okay, sorry, I don't want to create it. I will delete this thing. I will create a new table that will be a uh, new database and that database name will be something that my DB. Okay, I can use anything. I can use array or I can use Listing, okay, but I'm going to use uh, auth 
अंडर स्कोर सिस्टम ओके